Welcome back. We're getting ready for round two of Squad Ops Operation Rook, a one life event hosted by Squad Ops.gg. If you would like to learn more about Squad Ops.gg and our one life events or our training, head over to Squad Ops.gg to find out more information. My name is Karmika. I'll be your host for today, and I'm the founder and leader of, uh, or founder and director of Squad Ops. Joining me behind the scenes is Penn, and he's going to be running the camera, the multi camera that we're going to be doing here. Um, and if you're looking to win a copy of Squad, you can head over to twitch.tv slash squad ops where we give away one squad key every month. So go ahead and check out those links. We're starting round two here momentarily. Uh, we've got both teams now switching sides. We'll be spectating. Uh, we'll go through the teams real fast there, actually. We're going to be spectating Digit, Shadow Ritual, Blub, and Merrick squad leading for the Russians now. And best pony commanding for the Russians. So these squad leaders and command were originally on the U.S. the previous match, but we do two rounds every event, so both play uh, both teams get to play either side. And right now we're we'll be spectating the opposite team's uh, command. So we'll be spectating the Russians again, but with a different command structure. On the opposite team, the U.S. now we have Sightless squad leading Silas, Swine, and Nacho with CMYK Matter commanding for the Americans now. So uh, we'll run through the assets again. Uh, so uh, if we're gonna we're gonna be pulling up a small little uh, graphic here that you guys can see. So this is this was made by our content creation team. But as you can see here, you can see the assets that both teams get to use in this operation. Every everything from the lats to the saws to the ARs to the medics to the vehicles. As you can see, the U.S. gets two logistical trucks to supply and man their uh, fob and build with, and the Russians get two MTLBs, one trans and one Logi. And if they retrieve that Logi, they're able to use it to build a mortar fob. As we switch to the second slide here, you can see the objective. The objective of this operation is for the Americans to defend the castle on the eastern side of the map and for the Russians to assault and take the castle. There is a secondary objective for uh, Russia if they so choose, which is to recover the Logi truck in the center of town. If they do so successfully, they're able to use that Logi to create a mortar uh, fob to use on their assault. Like I said before, Russia gets to use two MTLBs, and we're gonna pull up the stats here for that vehicle. This vehicle used in round one to great effect for fire support and for transport. You can see now that they have 19 slots. It's great for fire support and for uh, maneuvering, but it does not go toe to toe with BTRs or strikers. This is a very light uh, skinned vehicle used for very light fire support and uh, transport. So we're really gonna end the mortars from first round from the U.S. was used to great effect, actually, to counter the MTLBs. We'll see if uh, CMYK Matter decides to employ mortars against the Russians and use them in the same uh, effect. As always, in every squad ops match, we have commands and briefings that happen before every single event so that both teams know the uh, operation and the rules and the plan uh, for that event. Right now, we're going through. Their squad leaders are organizing everybody, and uh, we've got both teams now setting to do their command briefs. Um, but yeah, we're going to see what kind of different plan Best Pony decides to use against CMYK Matter. CMYK Matter opted for a pincher on the north and south using uh, the MTLBs to cover as infantry pushed up. And it kind of evolved, as you can see, into a northern breach, which I think was a great, uh, great decision. We'll zoom over here to the, U to the uh, U.S. objective, the uh, castle, and we'll kind of analyze what happened in that previous round. So a Russian squad was placed in the south and in the north. But as you can see, as we analyze the kind of area that we're at, you can see that attacking the castle from anywhere but the north or the east is extremely dangerous. There's a small moat as well as lots of open ground that you need to cover with your infantry if you're going to try to push from those sides. However, from north and east, the north has a uh, high ground that is able to challenge the uh, towers. So these northern uh, these northern rocks actually are able to go toe to toe with the Americans on the point, and then this far eastern side has the depression and has that defilade to where you can advance unseen. So north and east are pretty much the power points for this objective. As you can see, the south and this west extremely open, large open areas, large open uh, lake, and then a road on the west that really cuts up the uh, side. We're going to skip over here to the U.S. briefing and uh, listen in on what they have planned. <laughs> You're going to be commanding the LAT team. 
Uh, you, as well as Squad 2, are going to push off to the south of Bravo, where that machine gun mark is. You're going to take up buildings on the south side of Bravo, and you're going to hold there, you're going to stay low, and you're going to stay quiet. Harry, you have freedom of movement with the LAT team. If you hear the MTLBs, I want you to maneuver to disable them. Okay? Sounds good. Two, you are going to be holding quiet on that position. Once we get word on where the enemy is attacking from, if they're taking south or north, we're going to maneuver you guys to be QRF. So we'll figure out where you go from there. Squad 1 is going to be taking care of fobbing up and running mortars on the top side of the castle. So upper castle is going to be Squad 1. Squad 3 is going to be taking care of fobbing up and staying on the lower side of castle. So that's going to be Squad 3. Squad 3 is also going to give up two of their riflemen to run lodge for us. Squad 4, you are going to push out to the southwest of the castle proper, and you are going to take positions around the Echo 4 uh, 6 6 area. So, Echo 4 6, somewhere in that grid square. Take up position in those buildings, stay low, stay quiet until we have confirmation that Boney isn't just rushing straight up the south. If he is rushing straight up the south, then you guys are going to act to foil his maneuver whenever he gets up close. But until then, you're going to stay low and you're going to stay quiet. Does everybody understand the plan? Much. Yeah, copy that. Very yeah, simple defense. Like Just hold your positions. Keep quiet if you're out there. Terry, you've got full control over that lat crew, so you tell them to do what you want. Freedom of movement. If it gets passed down that uh, you are going to have to maneuver back to castle uh, because the MTLB is pushed hard, then so be it. But we're going to have four lats in castle still, too, so we'll hopefully take them out. But yeah. otherwise, uh, yeah, oh, for my Lodgy drivers, for Lodgy guys, uh, you are going to obviously start here at the main base. Uh, first run, I just want you to beeline it straight down the road and then beeline it straight back. They shouldn't be able to make it up that fast. But then for your second runs, I want you to take it longer around the north. Don't do the full sweep up to the way north. Just take that northern road uh, and then push it down through village and then come back in that way. Does everybody understand? Uh, which yep. northern road am I taking? On that Sorry, road? here, I'll, uh, I'll mark it. Yeah, mark it for me. Okay, that route. Gotcha. Yep. And Bob, Mark, here. just uh, push along. Squad 1 on the left. Squad 4, or whatever isn't in the MTLB is on the right. Uh, other squads in the middle, and the MTLBs themselves intermixed with you as infantry support. You will all clear the village being down, and then eventually you'll arrive out of it. You'll have, you know, MTLBs help suppress squads intermingling. Our mortars will be continuing to pound their base unless I've run out of ammo somehow, which is unlikely. And, uh, yeah. Basically, you guys will just destroy them completely. Like, you're gonna have machine gun support from the MDLBs, you'll have mortar fire raining down on them. It is unlikely that they will survive. You're just gonna storm right in both entrances, kill everyone inside the bob, and, uh, win the day. Make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we can see that the Russian plan of attack this time is similar to the previous round. However, they are going to opt for that logistical truck to set a mortar fob and assist their assault. Best Pony's also opting to put his whole platoon on the north rather than attempting to blitz the south and the north at the same time in its pincer. So we'll see how this uh, operation plan differs in execution and see how effective it's going to be against the uh, American defense. Did you lock your keys in the car again? Uber? Which squads are? Which squads are? You seen the MTLBs? One and four? Um. Four is manning the MTLBs. Everyone's riding in them though. I'm driving yep, the front yep. MTLB to the first objective. Get ponies. Go get get your gun off. Wait. Wait. geniuses. We can see the squads now loading up into the vehicles. Everyone's getting mounted and ready. But yeah.
For anyone joining late, this is round two of Squad Ops Operation Rook. We are now on the second round. This is a one life event, meaning that when you go down, that is it. Uh, my name is Karma Cut. I'm the founder and director at Squad Ops. I'm joined by Penn, who's behind the scene doing all the camera work and mixing the cameras together. Uh, big shout out to him and thanks to him. We're going to be uh, setting for ready here in a second here, and we're going to wait for a live. As you can see now, U.S. is pushing their way to the objective. Uh, as soon as they get set at the castle, we should be uh, ready to call for live here. Once again, the assets for both teams vehicle-wise, U.S. gets two logistical trucks, which they can use to constantly supply their fob, build sandbags, hescos, and mortars, and defend the castle. Russia gets two times MTLBs for fire support and transport, and we'll see how effective they can use those to suppress the target while their infantry moves in under the cover fire. <clears throat> Right now, you can see U.S. getting the objective. Once both teams are set, both uh, briefings have already been completed. So we're now just waiting for U.S. to you make know, it to the objective, matter. and then we're going to set for live. But yeah, some great, great footage from round one. We had some amazing turns. Uh, Russian was able to pull it back after amazing smokes and frags to breach the compound. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens this round. Uh, there's a small difference in the Russian plan of attack this time. They're opting to go full on on the north and grab the, uh, the logistical truck to set up a mortar fob to support their assault as well. So U.S. now reaching their objective. Uh, we're going to be setting live here pretty soon. I can imagine uh, we'd be live here within a minute. So everyone just hang on, get ready. Make sure you got your food, your snacks, your drinks. And we're, uh, we're going to get set here for the second round of squadops.gg Operation Rook. Yeah, that's crazy. That NSV can aim wherever. In real life. Oh, boy. 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 So these two MTLBs will be loaded up with the entirety of the Russian team. We have 36 players in both MTLBs. These are the only two vehicles that Russia is taking. They are going to push fast and hard to the objective. And we'll see. There's, this is a pretty risky uh, plan here, putting all his eggs in one basket. But we'll see how effective uh, Pony will be able to pull it off. I could have come up something better, but I just, I don't know. I took over for Jack like last minute, so I didn't really thought it over yet. I was expecting just some No, that's good. Matt, are you ready? Uh, yeah, we're ready. All right, live at one forty-four. Live at 144. Guys just disappeared. All right, we have a live time set, 144. That means live is in within 50 seconds now. We'll be sitting here to start within 50 seconds. Once again, we'll go over a couple of the assets and the objective and the briefing. Russia is going to get two times MTLBs, and they have to destroy the enemy FOB. They're planning to go for that secondary objective, which is their lodgy, recover their lodgy, set up a mortar farm, and use that mortar to assist them on their assault. U.S. defends the castle. They have two logistical trucks that they're using to ferry uh, supplies back and forth and build up that fob. And uh, we'll see how that Russian attack on the north is going to play out. Uh, there's going to be a full commitment from the entire Russian team, so he might be able to overwhelm that north with overwhelming fire support and numbers. But we'll see how well that plans out for him. We are live here now in five seconds. So as you can see here, we're going to be showing the operation assets and information right now. Right before we get live here, while these uh, teams move out. All right, and we're seeing both MTLBs from Russia now pushing out of Maine. They're going to be pushing fast. Another thing to note about the MTLB is they are extremely loud they are extremely loud here i'm above them maybe 300 400 meters and you can still hear those engines roaring so we'll see if these engines give away the russian plan before they get anywhere close to the city 
So we'll see how effective this push will be with the entire platoon committed to the north if the U.S. can hear and expect that push. Once again, if you're looking to get into squad, HumbleBundle.com is having a 40% sale off of squad right now. So if you're looking to get into squad, now is the perfect time. Also, SquadOps.gg gives away one squad key a month. And you can enter that giveaway at Twitch.tv slash SquadOps. The giveaway link is posted every now and then. And that giveaway will be given away, obviously, at the end of the month. And your winners will be emailed. So if you're looking to buy squad, it's on sale right now. 40% off on Humble Bundle. And if you're looking to win a free code, SquadOps. GG hosts a free giveaway every month at twitch.tv slash squad ops. All right, as we look at the U.S., they are now getting set settled. Infantry pushing out to those southwestern buildings that, like we had highlighted before, and as well as building emplacements and sandbags to bolster their defense. Jesus, the traction sucks. Taking a look at the U.S. Uh, general the plan here, we're going to zoom all the way out. You can see both those lodges are pushing to repair, or excuse me, resupply, and squad 3 and 5 are on the FOB direct. Four off to the southwest watching that large moat from these buildings. As we highlighted from before, these buildings have a lot of line of sight, give you a lot of coverage on the south and western sides. However, an interesting difference in the U.S. defense this round is that the U.S. has committed one Full squad, squad two here, All right, four, to guard MPLB. the secondary objective, uh, which is the lodgy train. parked at the gas station. Let's have two and three go check it out. We'll have uh, one and four post security at the MTLBs for now. Just want to see how hard matters committed to stopping me from copy, taking copy. this vehicle. As we can see here, okay. all the Russians are now dismounted. To they are prepared, is it our job to and they are going to try to take that lodgy. Fucking unreal. All right, they know we're here. So Russian giving their position away with a uh, last shot. No, he missed the fucking truck. Jesus Christ. All right, tell him that he's not shooting unless he has explicit permission from now on. Like for the lat, just no. He knows now. <laughs> that was. And we're oh, pushing in here from the west. They're getting pretty so close. Like, hey, are we going to shoot their lodges if we see them? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, but we're not focused on that. Push close you know, to the uh, lodgy truck here. I guess took it to mean I'm going to fucking free fire. The U.S. is now set life. up on the uh, eastern side of the objective. Holy Russians pushing in from the west. We'll see if they can grab this objective. Across the street. There's going to be... Quite a firefight at the secondary objective here. That lodgy parked underneath that gas station is what the Russians are trying to grab. If they're able to successfully grab that lodgy, they will put down a mortar fob and mortar on their assault. So we'll see how effective uh, Best Pony can take this objective. He has two MTLBs and the entire platoon committed to this objective. So hopefully he should be able to get this lodgy. However, U.S. is already entrenched in positions to watch and cover the lodgy. So we'll see what kind of skirmish breaks out at this position. We got friendlies northeast that scared the crap out of me. Watch out. Once again, we talked about that noise on those MTLBs. It's a dinner bell. You can hear all the way from the U.S. Uh, location. There is absolutely not a doubt that they hear this, uh, this vehicle off to their west. And so as you can see now, U.S. set up in all of these buildings. This is going to be quite a nightmare to push. There's a ungodly amount of windows and angles for the U.S. to cover this, uh, this corner from. And we'll see how successfully Russia can take this objective. You see a good spread. We'll zoom all the way out here and get a bigger picture of what's going on. So as you can see, we have the Russians pushing on the western side of the objective. 
Uh, they're set yeah, up in the buildings on that line. white compound in the center of my screen, as well as sending a uh, patrol to that northwest. That infantry squad is at that northwest, right next to the MSR. We also have both the MTLBs. You can see them slowly creeping along the south right here on the bottom side of my screen. And all of the U.S., one full squad, that's squad two from the U.S., watching that eastern side. They are really close to those MTLBs. We'll see if MTLBs are engaged by the lats in those buildings. We'll see how effective those lats will be against these uh, stationary vehicles within the city. Once again, we'll talk about taking vehicles inside a city you have a very high chance of getting engaged upon by, by lats especially with the amount of angles you need to cover the amount of windows the corners it's extremely hard to cover with one gunner position so we'll see if us exploits that and uses those windows and those corners to engage the mtlbs in the city we'll see how effective they are and if they can disable one us now setting up to push upon the objective we can see us wrapping around or not excuse me not us but russia grabbing all the way around the objective not just engaging it from the uh, west but also trying to get on it from the north and they're checking every building except for the ones that the us is in us really diligent right now holding their fire waiting for the most opportune moment to attack we can see this logic in a very difficult way to approach this building it is extremely open spread it Russian comms now have spotted that infantry in the southeast. One player goes down already. That's the first ca first casualty of round two. Sticking his head out the window. He gets tapped by the Russians. And U.S. positions are now exposed. And Russia knows exactly where to look. So we'll see if they can still maintain control over this open area and go make a break for the lodge. Yeah, the fucking corner closest knee. All right, actually, if it's brain, they can't... Uh... Unless he staffed building full of lads, Alpha, slowly move up rock to rock, tree to tree. MTLB now rolling out, trying to secure right, and get um, presence on the objective, trying to keep U.S. heads down as they push closer shoot, to the logic. Grab that logic and go. We'll cover. So Russians right, attempting to right breach here, this cover. building. Oh, and he manages to get the guy covering the stairs. That was a lat kit, I do believe. That's one lat for the U.S. down. That's one, that's, excuse me, two rockets that are now taken out of the game for the U.S. I believe the second lat soldier is up here in the, in the tower as well. He takes out one player. Yes, this is the second lat player. So if the Russians can keep this, this lat... Nope, get this truck he gets both. Game. We'll see if he's able to load up his lat in time. But Russia looks like they're right, making out with the Lodgy right now. MTLB is plus infantry covering uh, this this uh, maneuver. Mission success. They might take one lap from that, that rocket up like there if he sees them. Doesn't look like it. Two so two casualties one, while inflicting two, two that's an nine, even break for the there. Russians yeah, and they retrieve the uh, Lodgy That's gonna mean that Russian they get mortars on, while they assault be, so be big cool. play here for the Russians ma Managing to yeah. get that Lodgy out even out in that middle open compound Securing those buildings around it pushing in breaching that building getting a couple players from the US go, and then I'm pulling their platoon job, Northwest bound we'll see good how job, effective Alpha. they will be on their mortars on the assault once again We'll talk about mortars when you're using them to assault Mortars right, are extremely, extremely lethal when it comes to using them on a fixed target, so and a defense is a fixed yeah, target. Yeah, well, so we'll see if Best Pony's Mortar Man is on point valuable. with his uh, calculations and if he's able to inflict massive amounts of casualties on the castle as they set up this fob. Round one, we didn't see this play. Matter opted to avoid the Lodgy completely, but Best Pony said, you know what? We're going for that Lodgy. We're going to take it. We're going to secure the compound, and we're going to set up the mortars. So we'll see how effective this ends up uh, being for him. Across the street, Alpha. Um, I have the MTLB hold tight. Everybody as we can see here, the entire Russian platoon now moving out on foot in the MTLBs as well. He is now, once again, we talked about this before, he's committing the entire platoon to that northern attack. He's going to use the overwhelming fire from his two MTLBs, from the mortars, and from his infantry to try to overwhelm that position. And we have saw before, if you're with me before, when we are looking at the map, that northern assault is the one with the most cover. So Pony making good, calculated plays right now, taking the Lodgy, taking that northern assault path, He's making everything he can. He's doing everything he can to make sure that this operation ends in his favor. And it's going to come down to execution of his squad leaders and the aggression of his infantry when it comes to breaching the compound that will make or break this. The Lodgy and the Mortars are a very big play. But once again, you need infantry. Every asset 
added to the game. Every asset in general is made it is made excuse me is made they to support the, mortars, the infantry. So, uh, everything from aircraft right. to vehicles Different. to emplacements, everything is used to support the infantry. If you don't have boots in the building, you don't own that building. No matter how many vehicles you have around it, no matter how much you shell with the mortars, you need to get infantry on the point. And Pony is great at using assets like the mortars and the MTLBs to support his infantry as they push. And we're going to see how he executes it uh, very soon here. We're going to take a break and look over at the U.S. defenses here. U.S. has had a lot of time, especially since Russia opted for that lo uh, for that Lodgy. U.S. has had a lot of time to build up their defense. However, the trade-off, like we said before, as Russia grabs that Lodgy and grabs those mortars, is that the mortar can dismantle sandbags. This mortar is going to be cr critical in removing the emplacements that the U.S. has put down. Mortars disable sandbags and Heskos with enough rounds. So with enough shelling, Russia will be able to completely dismantle everything that U.S. has built. With accuracy and with relentless fire, Pony stands a very good chance of completely wiping the slate clean with the mortars. Four, sorry, you just got a boring job for a bit. <laughs> All right, we are, we are having fun out here. Yeah, I got Terry telling me he's pretty sure they went north, so we're going to readjust. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Sense. Unless they listened. Both teams now setting up. We're hitting another lull. There's a lot of pacing uh, uh, differences within squad ops. You can see like when it gets down to breaching, the pacing's fast, fast, fast. Uh, first engagements are usually really quick, but there are moments where you will be having to readjust, re uh, maneuver, and re-evaluate uh, what's going on. And right now we're seeing that second part of Pony's plan, the second part after getting those lodges and repositioning to the north and uh, preparing for that assault. And U.S. right now buckling in. They're pulling, pulling off of the lodge position. An interesting play here. I'm catching this off the corner of my uh, my eye. An interesting play here. If we look at the map, this is squad two from U.S. Matter has sent this U.S. squad from the west to flank. Matter has decided to set a counter offensive squad off to the west. And we'll see how effective this flanking squad is going to be. Especially since the entire Russian team is on the north. If this squad can get in a good enfilade firing position, they will be able to do a great amount of damage as that entire platoon pushes north to south. But we'll see how effective that is. Uh, especially if Russia is maintaining their 360 security and keeping eyes on their flanks, that squad is not going to be able to do too much damage. One run. That way you just have an extra Pony now getting his mortar set up on the far north here. You can see him dropping that fob, dropping the mortar pit. Yeah. Yeah, one of these one thousand. I don't know. Are we? Unless actually, where do you guys want him? Once we get it up and I get firing, unless actually, where do you guys want him? Once we get it up and I get firing, I think I want one more run. But since four is gonna leave two people with me for security, like that's so. fine. You'll send one of them. Yeah, just right, cross. Yeah, I'm gonna pull my gun. Yeah. I got to start getting one of them somewhere, Tony. So we'll see what happens. Russia now getting his whole platoon out here. Yeah, it's safe. the infantry. Yeah. Pony's getting the fob up. He says, "Yep, let's get these guys online. Let's get let's get ready for the assault as the mortar starts getting built." Uh, he's gonna get his entire platoon online over here. Uh, if U.S. has eyes on this maneuver, this could be very deadly. Uh, Russians are out in the middle of nowhere, and I think I heard a mortar come out. That's exactly what I was talking about. If if Russia got spotted and if they get sighted for mortars, this is a very bad place to be. There's no overhead cover and everyone in the platoon is now stacked next to each other. So we'll see if that mortar was actually fired over here. Which I think it was. Oh, that flanking squad spotted by the uh, MTLB on the south. He shoots a squirt over there, deterring that uh, that push. But we see the entire... Russian platoon here now skirting the north side of the map. Lat shot? Lats going out. Tags the MTLB over here. He was covering our rear. He's coming out. And he does. That MTLB did manage to drop that lat soldier. Second lat goes out. Connects. This MTLB might pop here momentarily. This MTLB very well might pop from two lat shots. Maybe going down. Yeah, 
He did take a second. Fire, fire goes out. It looks right, like he's gonna survive. All right, if he if he survives. But that MTLB is now extremely extremely low on HP. You're a little more west, aren't you? Or is it who's, who's the most west? Come again. So as we hit that lull here, we'll take a look Come at again. the overview of the strategy. We can see that platoon line forming for uh, the Russians on the north here. One, four, west. two from right to left. And the uh, majority of the U.S. squad is now stacked inside of the compound. We still have that squad on the southwest with those three buildings that we talked about before with that elevation, making sure that they don't get flanked from the south or the west. Um, but we'll see... If any Russians even make it over here, it looks like Pony is committing to that north. So these this uh this squad might need to reposition. We still have that flanking squad on the far west. We'll see how far they go. They have a lot of ground to cover on foot. That's their main protection. They may just keep bumping into a wall. We see that platoon line now getting spread out all the way from the east to west. MTLB is integrated in the center of the formation for fire support, and we'll see uh when the call to push comes. Mortars are now set, and uh, he's uh, he's prepping this little uh, mortar firebase he's got here. And we'll see how we go. For it's looking like they're going to be uh, positioning to the north. So for right Both now, teams you kind guys of staging are kind of off. Holding spot. Audio MTLB north. Fine, no, we're just <laughs> we're just waiting for your command to do something different. <laughs> Audio MTLB north heard it. Squad two still trying to track and find this MTLB on the north. MTLB north you. MTLB audible north. <laughs> Is MDLB having trouble trying to figure out where to go? As it is getting pretty cornered back here. We can take a look at the health here. It is running really low. If it so much gets sneezed on, it's pretty much going to explode. Fantastic. But yeah, the Russians have a nice platoon line set up and we're standing by for the order to push. Mortar rounds. Mortar rounds for Russia go out from the firebase. We'll see uh, where these land. Shots out. Now, in my opinion, these mortar rounds are going to be fired extremely uh, preemptively. They're on target, but uh, <laughs> there's not real much that those are going to do. He's going to be wasting rounds. His infantry is too far to act on this. And I think he's just wasting mortar rounds at this point. And have, have that damage him, he'll be just hanging out here with me. Copy, he's hanging out there for now. Because he's going to run out of rounds way before his infantry gets within engagement range. I mean, I knew this But was he is happen. shelling the compound. So would get into position faster. But his infantry is still about 500 meters out. So this is an awkward call from Pony, uh, deciding to use mortar rounds. Uh, before his infantry is within the I ability to push, the now, yeah, I think he uh, yeah. he jumped the gun just a little no. bit. But we'll see if it uh, it actually works in his favor. No, they only get one lodger, I believe. But yeah, he's chewing through mortar rounds right now, and there's there's no real reason to be firing these right now, especially with limited rounds. Even if he destroys some of the sandbags at this distance, his infantry is too far to push that. The U.S. would probably just push out and uh, reshovel those up. So this is a really, uh, really interesting decision here by Pony. He is getting rid of some of the sandbags here. But that's just about all he's going to do. His infantry is still about two minutes away on foot. Two, I need you to get the gas on when you can.
I'm gonna start digging our shit back up. Jappy, Careful, more's more's incoming, more's incoming. Mortar's still coming in. I actually almost get one soldier here. But uh, aside from that, not much doing. She's slowing their pace a little bit. Yeah, we're, um, we're getting strung out here. Yeah, we're slowing our pace a little bit, we're clearing buildings. And we're so seeing that execution kind of, kind of faltering. Russian gang spread a little bit yeah. thin. Mortar's landing a little bit I'm too there, early. Yeah, I just, this, uh, village is gonna be... He's only gonna got about 30 one. rounds in that mortar tube, and he yeah, spent maybe 15 already. Nasty. You have to be this building right here to the south, and then we're moving south. One, once you have eyes on the fob, let me know if he's are effective or not. Russians are closing in here. Still, not much movement. Stormfront and Quack, start moving southeast to clear the first building in that direction. And as we said before, that flanking squad sent on the far west. I don't think Pony expects this infantry push from his west. There's a full squad over here hunting down these mortars. Uh, however, there's nothing but open ground here, so that MTLB might, might be enough to uh, deter this north. We'll see. We'll see. You can see there's uh, you can see there's absolutely nothing out here but open ground. We got that one damaged MTLB sitting up here to cover, but he's on the wrong side of the hill to cover this. They're gonna be able to get right on top of this uh, mortar fob before he can engage. It's taking us a while to go through these buildings. You might want to halt the line. Yeah, I'll follow their moving. Sounds like their lodges are closed. Yeah. We'll see what happens here. U.S. is now U.S. and Russians now within engagement range. They're at 300 meters. They will have eyes on each other momentarily here. We can see that movement and shift. U.S. has spotted infantry to the north. You can see that call goes out from the U.S. and matter reacting sends that squad on the southwest and pushes them off the flank as well. So we can see a lot of a different change in the uh, U.S. defensive. Matter playing a very reactive and aggressive defense, pushing out past the fob and ensuring that he is flanking squads to deal with the incoming threats. Whereas uh, Pony, when he was on U.S. defense, bottled up into the compound and locked down the doors. So. We'll We'll see how these two different strategies uh, will, will hold up as they go head to head here in a second. And attack from the west. Is that okay? That's fine. Just be careful. Thank you. Sure. We're gonna have two things happen here simultaneously in about five minutes. That mortar fob is gonna get hit, and then this uh, squad on the north is gonna right, get hit by the U.S. squad on the west. One standby for splash. Mortis once again not doing much and his infantry cannot follow up. We had a hand grenade go off over here. XF Watch did out. catch a little shrapnel, but he should be medicked up back to full health. There's not enough pressure to follow up on those mortars right now. Any damage that he does will be undone by the medics and the shovels. Yeah, we got We're taking a little bit of return fire here in the middle. Uh, Copy that. You get your hand, hand in the symbol of castle. Oh, I'm hitting the tower. Or, or cover. Next, like next. The, uh... All right, I'll cover her. Good I don't see any heads in the uh, courtyard yeah, on the north side. Good. Yeah, I see one. I see one. All right, I'm go going. Next. Go next. Mores are good. On the far oh, west, you can see North uh, American, American and Russian forces within 50 meters of each other engaging right now. Close quarters in the alleys. Couple of casualties on both sides. We can see engagements in this uh, western side of the town. This didn't happen in the first round. We can see those alleys really coming into play. The CQB contact is going to be uh, tying up this western squad for the Russian uh, for quite a while. We're going to see if they're going to be able to uh, push. Contact west. Contact west to the FOB. And that mortar fob also now getting hit. Like I said before, like we predicted, that mortar fob and that south fob and that south south squad is going to get engaged on at the same time. We're going to be able to see here if this north squad takes still, out still the uh, mortar fob because they could do some really 
bad damage to these guys. But we'll see if they take the MTLB and if they push it around the corner. They could catch these guys with their pants down. There is not enough lat up here. And the US squad seeing that, knowing that the MTLB is there, knowing that they don't have any light anti-tank capabilities, they are going to be pushing off to the west. They're going to see that MTLB and just nope the fuck right out of there because they cannot handle the, uh, the armor. Oh, he might actually be hunting them down right now. Enemies to the west of the castle. This MTLB pushing up. He's gonna try to hunt down these Americans. Are they shooting at you from across or are they all They're not shooting at us. They're shooting across or are they all boarded? They're not shooting at us. They're shooting. Uh, I'm taking fire and I've got eyes on contact. Fox 3 2 2. This northern squad from US has zero light anti tank capabilities. This entire squad is completely vulnerable and now stuck in this compound on the north. They completely <laughs> just the momentum completely swaps. They saw that MTLV and they just had to nope the fuck right out of there. They're now stuck all the way up here in the north. And this one MTLB will pin a eight-man squad in the north. So we're going to leave that and let that MTLB keep those guys pinned. I don't foresee too much happening up there. The US squad is not going to move, and that MTLB can't get in the compound. He's going to try to suppress and wall bang, but there's not much that he can do. On this western side, like we said before, these close engagements, the Russians actually taking man advantage of the buildings. We now see them shooting down into the valley. They have superior positioning right now. We, see, we can see US taking a lot of casualties in this uh, little ravine here as the Russians exploit those windows on the third floor so we'll see how much more damage but russia really really catching us out of position and we can see that counter uh reactive uh play style that matter is going for is really not working out too well for him right now both of his flanking squads caught in really bad positions caught in uh engagements that they cannot necessarily win frags coming out from those buildings you can see why elevation really is important because those frags get thrown from the building and it's really hard to throw frags back up this U.S. squad now in the lower ground, pinned by that Western squad. Northern squads on the north uh, are pushing in. Mortars landing. Now, these mortars are close enough to do enough damage. As we can see, maneuvers coming in from the north. That pressure takes out three U.S. players. We talked about spacing before. Spacing will bite you in the ass. If you do not space out for explosives, that could cause some major casualties and power swings within a match. We see that same exact assault kind of plan happening right now. We talked about this northern train and the eastern train before. Those northern rocks allow Russia to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with infantry on the parapets. That eastern death blade and that eastern cliff allows a Russian squad to get in close, breaking line of sight. So we'll see that kind of generic assault on the... On the uh, on the uh, castle. However, M Tony did throw in mortars. He's thrown in this large platoon line, and that's allowing him to also assault the west side of the compound. With this infantry squad now pushing the west, we're going to see how much uh, pressure these guys can push over here on the west. We see a three pronged attack essentially happening now from the north, east, and west of the objective. All the smokes out. Mortar's coming in, another fire mission is coming in, and this is the perfect time to mortar. This is the perfect point and time to mortar the point. When you have pressure from the infantry and now you have the additional threat of mortars, you can really, really force Americans to think um, in a very chaotic way. They're gonna panic a little bit, especially dealing with multiple problems at once. If you feed problems right, one good. at a time no. and that pressure one at a time to another player, you allow, you give them the time to digest that information and to deal with it one by one. But if you hit the multiple sides, multiple angles, multiple assets, you can really put that pressure on them and uh, kind of Use that chaos to find a breach point. We're going to see right now if U.S. can push, or if U.S. senses this push on the southeast. But we'll see. Rockets going out. Smoke's going out. HMG's training fire. We do have an HMG pit on the western, northwestern side of the compound here. It's going to be pretty much near impossible for uh, Russia to breach this point, especially with that barbed wire impairing the movement of that uh, angle. Mortars out, on court yard. mortars out again. We'll see how effective these are. There are a couple of Americans here caught in the open. We'll see how effective these mortar rounds land. We see a couple of them running now for indirect fire bunkers. And mortars inbound. Right, Very, these are landing in the courtyard this time. No kills on those mortars, but uh, you can really see if you... Mix in infantry with mortars, you can create a lot more pressure than just infantry by itself or mortars by itself. We talked about that northern hill once again, keeping toe-to-toe -to -toe and suppressing this northern uh, side of the bunker. They can really go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The, the cover and the viewpoints are just almost identical to the parapets up here, if not more cover for the northern uh, Russian squad.
got mortars going in. Russia now using this oh, this side of the uh, yeah, castle right, to go. break line of sight and try to find another breaching point. Stormfront, let's go. But Russia is still trying to find a way to breach. Frag going out. They just missed two last shots on the other side. More mortars coming in. Actually gets a player right here in the center. Gets two players. Good mortars right here. We can see now that Russia is adding on the pressure with the mortars and the infantry. If you throw in mortars, you throw in infantry, it really limits the amount of places that America can be. And right now, America is struggling to find cover from infantry and from the mortars. They have to cover the doors, but they have to be mindful that the mortars are, are landing in the open. So it really limits the ability for you to defend if you're not being able to stand where you want to stand. Pressure is all about taking away what your opponent can do and making them fight in weird, adverse situations. And right now, Pony is doing that with this infantry push on the east, infantry push on the west, and mortars landing inside the compound. Really putting on that pressure and stopping America's... Uh, troops from being where they need to be to watch the entrances. More mortars coming in. We'll see how effective these will land. But right now, he's got the majority of the U.S. stuck inside the compounds. And incoming rounds are going to clear this again. These rounds not so effective. Hitting the tower directly. Are rounds complete? And we're down to the breach here now. So around the corner from you. Shadow toss smoke in the courtyard. You can see just like before they're using smokes to break that line of sight. Smokes and frags important for breaching. Break that line of sight so you can push. Frags take out enemies hiding behind cover watching that entry point. More mortar rounds coming in and you can see this US soldier really wants to hold this angle, but because of the mortars he cannot. And as as that happens, as that pressure is relieved, Russia gets an opportunity to push. You can see how those, those two complement each other extremely well. U.S. cannot watch U.S. entrances efficiently with the mortar rounds landing. Russia now taking the compound one by one. Two, what's your status? Actually, uh, scratch that. Russia now looking very good. Have the numbers and have the firepower to take the fob. MTLB gets hit by a squad flanking on the north. But America is now really out of position with squads outside the compound. Russia has an opportunity now to take the compound, hardpoint in the compound, and then face out and look for the Americans returning to the base. More mortar rounds landing soon. We'll see if these are able to snag anybody. Ooh, yeah, there's a... Uh, very close, but no cigar. Uh, the top side's getting pushed. And Russia now has control over the upper part of the compound. Medic, medic, Rose. Matter, command for the US taking shots. He is now bandaging. Lots of mortar rounds coming in still. This will be the last fire mission, and Russia now looking very strong on the point, pushing in. However, if they look to their north, there's an entire U.S. squad that will be pushing in from their north on their previous position. So whether or not they're aware of that um, could be an extremely could be an extremely uh, important decision. No one's watching the stairs. You got to make sure you're watching those entry points. A Russian squad leader goes down. That's going to be some presence loss for the U uh, for the Russians. And we're seeing an interesting thing happen here. U.S. is now using those rocks in the north to, to repel this upper defense. And we'll see if Russia can hold on here. They're getting counter-fragged and they're taking fire from the north. This northern squad from Russia might get pinned on the upper part of the compound and all pressure might be lost. However, there's a squad already working on that south entry point and they're making good progress taking out the defenders over here. One lack comes out. You gotta watch your spacing. That could have been tragic for Russia. That's a full fire team that nearly got taken out by a lat shot. You gotta maintain your spacing. Spacing, spacing, spacing. All the time. You cannot lax on your spacing. That could have been absolutely tragic. 
U.S. now taking on those northern hills. You can see how effective that fire is from those northern hills. They have superior cover, and they have just enough elevation to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys up here. Yeah, let me try. Don't die. Don't die, though. It's in the southeast corner up there. Watching your spacing, guys. But Russia doing a good job keeping these infantry Always off. Always remember spacing. You don't want to die from the same grenade. And they're continuing to keep the pressure up, using... Both teams using the opposite's assets against them. U.S. using those northern rocks, and the Russians now using the sandbags against the Americans. Smoke's coming in. Smoke's coming in. It looks like they're going to try to breach on the south. And we've got guys on the fob right now. Four. You can see now how effective smokes are. They can't see this open ground. You can't shoot what you can't see, uh, and they're going to try to push in here. And Russians making good progress right using using the uh, U.S.'s own defense against them. Russian uh, U.S. command goes down. That's going to be a lot of confusion. We're clearing them out. It's slow work, but it's happening. And we're 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 uh we're dwindling down here to the last few remaining defenders within the compound. Yeah. This might be the new the new meta. This this was pretty effect so far. Let's get this bomb. There's maybe four United States uh, army left in the compound. Russia using all the angles, using the hills, using the uh, parapets, and coming in from different angles. Oh, there's a flank coming in over here on the south. We're looking at spacing here. We're looking at spacing. Gotta maintain that spacing. That You're all within one grenade range. And Russia is just slowly dismantling U.S. defense. These forces over here are taking, uh, taking some sh shots. I think Russian command just went down. Best pony now down and now for the count. Both, both commands for both teams are now down. It's going to come down to infantry and squad leaders to finish the job here. U.S. is so out of position. We still have a squad all the way to the north as we see on our map. Squad 2 is still pinned out there because that MTLB kept that entire squad pinned. They are way far out of position. And then Russia is now in the compound mopping up the remaining U.S. troops. I think there's only two in here. We might be clearing the compound. It does look like Russia managed to completely clear, clear the compound. Commander. They have almost gotten the FOB now. The FOB is half built, Command as you can see right here. Um, and all Russia has to do now is hold this compound from U.S. attacking on the east and north. Let's get a fire tire like a buddy team on these north stairs. Let's finish clearing out the west. We've got control of this eastern area. Let's just not lose it. Get snuck up on. That's really our biggest concern now, I think, is just getting snuck up on. Uh, there's a single U.S. soldier in the south compound. He might get spotted right here in a second, though. How you looking, Warning? Or not. Someone has some connection issues. That was lag right there. But that player still goes down. I have an MTLB moving to cover that eastern flank. And Russia now has complete... Uncontested control we never, this morning, over the objective. MTLB coming down from the north. We'll see if US has any remaining lat to yeah, deal with this. The they might. Is this a lat? No. Is this a lat? No, that's a saw. No, the, the outside stairs. So this one MTLB. Remember, this is the MTLB that is extremely low. If it so much gets tapped once, it's going to explode. But yeah, there the call goes out. U.S. must attempt to recapture Castle. Uh, Russia has completed their primary objective and their secondary objective. Now it comes down to seeing how many casualties they will uh, hold the castle with. Russia even going so far as to rebuild the defenses that the U.S. had in place and use them against them. Squad 1 is watching the north. 
Copy. We can see Matter's decision to send two flanking squads really did not work out in his favor. Instead, getting two squads caught out in the open and delayed on the outside of the map. And Pony using the mortars a little preemptively, but in the end, those follow-up rounds were on target and on time and dealt massive damage to allow the Russians to breach a compound. Rangers on the east, there's one enemy still on the north, on the rocks. And now we're uh, pretty much dwindling down here to the end of the operation. There are a couple infantry left on either side, but Russia does have control over the primary objective. And we'll see if U.S. can retake it, even though they are caught extremely out of position. the objective and then wait for counterattack. Hey, friend. This one lone soldier trying to find a way in on the south. And that rem the remnants of Squad 2 in the north are finally yeah, uh, finally booking it over here. It looks like U.S. is waiting for the remainder of their team before Does they make a move. I'm good. Good. Fob was taking contact, so it's probably stragglers pushing in from that direction. It's getting real quiet here as U.S. waits for the re remainder of their forces to push. Yeah, Lee, I, get, I assume most contacts are going to come from the north. They, they probably sent a flank out. Lee. That's all I've been Survive. doing. Survive. But it does look like Russia's going to come out of here with a win. There's maybe six U.S. soldiers remaining and a good ten Russians. We'll see if this MTLB is actually... Does the MTLB have eyes on the east wall? Should we still be watching it? Sees anything. Or hears anything. No. These two infantrymen from the US are going to be walking up right on it. I don't think there's a lat kit here, though. No, there's not. Just a squad leader and a simple rifleman. Three, do you have that south side covered? Or do you want me to move my guys over? What was that? It's just me, so I'm on that roof, so... Um, Do you want some help guys. down there, or are you good? There's nothing here so far. Okay. I'll rotate my binoculars down there, since we're the only two Maybe binoculars down there. Right? Yeah, I have a medic alive. I'll be yeah, I have a medic alive in my squad, so if anybody needs it, just make your way to him. He might be, yeah. Uh... I'm gonna go clear that I'll northern bunker. I'll try and no, we've there. got defenders of energy. Yeah. I lost five minutes here. Hey, there's, there's enemies behind the MTLB. Rocks behind the MTLB. Ooh. Tell the MTLB to turn around. They're yeah, behind they're it. Scanning yeah, they're behind the rock. Behind the rock somewhere. Yeah, he's behind the rock. Uh, big blue green. Wait, you have a frag round? No, no. I don't. I'll hold stairs. 
upstairs. That red, white, and blue smoke for America. I just nailed one. There's a few of them. There's like they're There's one the U.S. soldier in the compound. Yeah. Russia is not maintaining 360 degree security. Did you say they're pushed towards the West Bridge? They're on our, on our south. They've, they've entered our south R4. Shout out calls out. He sees them. Four or five tops, I'd say. Is there one behind us? Yeah, yeah. There's one on our south. And let's see if Russia can mop this up. It's the luckiest op ever right now. Alright, go get them, go find the medic. Friendly coming up. Alright. Got one still on the south, as far as I can tell. Maybe one on the north. Is he inside the building? He is inside the building. Power floor, right near oh. morning star. And let's look back up. He used the ladder from the roof to get him to the second floor. If that makes sense. Oh, he gets one. No, he's still here. Still here. He's in the big. He's up top. This guy is up top. He's up top. Ooh, nearly gets picked off right there, and he's gonna get rushed around the corner. Oh, he sees the barrel! He sees the barrel! Oh, he saw the barrel! I'll be coming up the ladder deck down. Trading shots right now. He's right here. Okay. He's right here against the castle. Right here, here against the castle. He's getting flanked. Copy. Kind of. He's gonna opt to back off, I think. Negative, negative. It's a really rough angle to push. He's gonna get flanked by that squad leader on the south. Oh. Oh. He snuck in? Is he in that little He gets Shadow Ritual? He's gotta be bleeding. No, he's not bleeding. Oh my god, this guy's a machine! High feature. He's gonna get flanked right here. And that should be it. I guess it. That's GG. Russia maintains primary objective, secondary objective, and holds the compound with ca with uh, forces remaining. All right, and that's it for squadops.gg round two. We're going to have an interview with a couple of the players from the previous rounds. We're going to bring them in here in a second. And uh, yeah, we're going to have this uh, a fast post, uh, post game interview with uh, CMYK Matter, the command uh, for one of the teams. So Matter, how'd that go? <laughs> you know, our first round went really well. I was hoping that... first round that, went uh, really well, actually. Went extremely yeah. well. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. The second round uh, was a little rough, mostly because I was hoping that our LAT team that we had sent out to the West would take care of the MTLBs before they actually made any sort of impact. And then I was hoping these other squad, too, would be able to maneuver on the mortar fob location and take it out quicker than they did, unfortunately. Oh, that, that was happened. hilarious. I gotta say, I, I, so I was counting lats that entire time, and that team you sent to the Northwest uh, lost one lat, and then the second lat was black on ammo. So as soon as they... <laughs>
perched over that hill and they saw that MTLV, they turned right the fuck around <laughs> and went right back where they came from. They were like, I, we can't kill this. And they just turned right around. Uh, that was all hilarious. To plan. Right. Yeah, <laughs> but round one, Matter, you had a great, great amount of uh, pressure there with the smokes and the grenades. The breach, the breaching was absolutely phenomenal. Using that mm -hmm. smoke to break, light, break line of sight and using those frag grenades. Uh, if you re you can really see how if you don't pay attention to battle spacing on defense or even on offense, you can have massive power swings with good grenades. Yep. And I saw one that, grenade take out four defenders at yeah, one point. It was that amazing. Was it gave ridiculous. you complete control over that north. Uh, that was yep. or, or over the upper part of the compound and that was absolutely amazing um as far as round two i thought that strategy of sending those flanking squads could have worked so well it was just a couple key things a couple squads got caught out of yep. position <laughs> and then the lat was just not there to handle the mtlb if you had lat that whole northern fob would have been gone but it was yep. absolutely awesome to see that aggression come out from a defending commander and that was awesome to watch as well uh pony round one um i did see i did like how you played a much safer kind of consolidated defense i'm so glad we got to see two kinds of play styles on round one and round two of the op uh, i saw that uh, more consolidated defense and, and that was definitely a textbook and, and and by the book and that was a solid defense you just had a couple unfortunate spacing issues and unfortunate power swings throughout that defense that let the the russians in however on round two pony those mortars i gotta say i was a little I was a little concerned with those first few rounds because they were so <laughs> far ahead of your infantry, but those follow-up up rounds were devastating. And you could see the combination of infantry pressure and mortar pressure really limiting the Americans to what they yeah, could see. Yeah, it was rough and to what sit they there. could do. It yeah, really rough I could. I saw. I saw the mortars come in. Everyone runs into cover. Russians push in. <laughs> mortars stop. Americans come back out. Mortars come back in. Ru Americans gotta <laughs> run back into cover. So there's a lot of like, there was a lot of hot water, cold water stuff going on there. But that was really awesome to see. Pony, what did you uh? What, like taking that that uh, logi truck? I like how you took your time and you secured those buildings around. Uh, what would what what do you think was the most pivotal part of taking that offensive in round two? Um, I'd say the most pivotal part was honestly right at the start when, when Merrick called out the building the enemy lats were in because if we hadn't immediately seen them and I hadn't killed one and then the guys went and breached it and we were able to provide enough distraction to get that lodge out of there, that, that offensive relied entirely on the mortars. That The mortars ended up getting, I think, seven kills or something like that. Yep. It was, yep. If I didn't have those mortars, Matter probably would have held that fob because there were only about seven or eight people. Yeah, that was beautiful mortar work. You did great, Pony. That was a great assault. I love so it. So I'd say yeah. right there at the beginning, taking that lodge was the key that thing is very powerful if you can get to it which so far uh only two teams have yeah it was extremely awesome to watch both of you had excellent plans both round one and round two and it just came to you know things that are fall outside of your control and that happens a lot in squad ops things that happen to your plan that you can't control either you get spotted at a really bad time you don't have the correct assets for a certain time or or yep. just shit goes wrong and you can't do anything about it and it's all about adjusting after that but you guys did both round one round two both you coming out of here with one win each and that was awesome to see we'll be back uh with round or excuse me session two in about three hours so 6 p.m pacific we'll be back with round two or session two excuse me thank you so much matter and so much um pony for putting on a great show for us great command work great strategies and just amazing games all around thank you so much glad um, to do it Oh, thank you. Yeah. For everyone watching the stream, uh, thank you for watching. This is squadops.gg, Operation Rook. If you'd like to learn more about our events or our training or our videos, uh, youtube.com slash squadops, twitch.tv slash squadops, and check out squadops.gg for information regarding our platform as a whole. A reminder that squad is on sale for 40% off on humblebundle.com. And if you're looking to win a copy of squad, squadops gives away one key of squad every month at twitch.tv slash squad ops. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Karmica, the founder and uh, director of squad ops. I'm joined by Penn, our uh, mixer behind the scenes. He does the amazing camera work. Uh, thank you to Pony and to Matter for putting on a great show for us as commands. And we'll see you all in the next session in two hours and 45 minutes exactly. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is uh, squad ops signing off.